God bless you. This is Bishop George Bloomer, and this is the after service at Bethel Family Worship Center. Today was a phenomenal day, and I'm, I'm telling you, I had to do everything within my power to hold back the tears because um, so much has transpired. You know, the message today dealt with me then and me now. Me then and me now. And it really, really uh, uh, caused us to deal with a word, and the word was intention. You know, sometimes people offend you and they say, it wasn't my intentions to do that. We ran a definition on intentions to find out that intentions is emphatic. It is something, intention is something that you intend, you're motivated, uh, you are, uh, you're created to do it. It is a part of you, a part of who you are. And so sometimes when a person says, it wasn't my intentions, in many cases, it really, really was. It's almost as if their personality has ran rogue and has gone against the discipline of being able to hold the bad part of you down, uh, the bad part of you came up. And I certainly, certainly, certainly repent before you and the world for allowing that to happen in my life. It took a number of years for me preaching for the Lord to bring me to this place so that I can take control over the infirmity part of me that just wants to be in control and rule and, and, and run everything. And it's just, it's just out of order. It's not correct. And then to be able to confront those negativities and bring the positive part of it out in my own personal life, in my own life. And that's why I wanted to share it with you that you can have that same uh, rebirth. Uh, the scripture says, when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. That word put away means to eulogize. It means to bury. It means to transition, which means that my 12 year old is dead. He no longer exists. And I don't want to get into the business of resurrecting him from the dead and allowing my 12 year old to, uh, to administrate my 55 year old self. That, that, that wouldn't, that's out of order. That, 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 that that's not a good look. And, and, and I learned that out of the message, how that um, my soul, which is, uh, which is a non-physical uh, presence, my person uh, that comes up against my ego, which is the physical part of me. And there's a battle between my soul and my, and, 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 and my natural out of being, and I'm warring within myself, and so I don't need any enemies from anywhere else because I'm warring within myself. Maybe I'm talking too much because I'm excited, but I know that deliverance is about to take place for many of you who are watching right now in, in, in real time, right this moment, to say I would no longer allow other people to push my button and bring up the part of me that is buried. I'm not letting you do that to me another day. I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to give you the trigger. I'm not going to allow you to, uh, 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 to make me somebody that I used to be and am no longer. I am confronting myself and I am putting to death those things that are not pleasing to myself. I understand that my ego existence is housed in, 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 in good looks and, and weight and skin tone and the car I drive and the pocketbook that you purchase and the shoes that you wear, fine. But your soul is seated in eternity and is not concerned with any of those things. The only thing your soul is concerned with is getting back to its outer body experience. The Apostle Paul says to live is for Christ and to die is gain, it's a promotion. And I'm working on staying here as long as I possibly can in my physicality, but being connected in my uh, non-physical, uh, 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 um, uh, my non-physical expression with God, which is my soul, that those things are at peace with him. Now, let me calm down and close this for you. I know I said a lot, and you might have to go over it over and over again. You might want to go to our website and, 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 and look at the message from today. But I want you to come into the deliverance that I've came into. The scripture puts it this way. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth because the earth was without form. It had lost its form, and it was void. It was canceled. What its original uh, date 
and purpose of fulfillment had been canceled. And God says, I'm going to make it over. And then he said this, and God said, let there be light. Light was illumination. Light was life. Life was creation. Let there be light. And there was illumination, creation, and life. And God saw that the illumination, the creation, and the light was good. Life was good. And then he began to create mornings, afternoons, evenings, nights, and days. And assigned to it all of the challenges that the first earth had in the second earth. The challenges are the same. But now you have the ability to shift the patterns and to change systems simply because you were made in the image and the likeness of God. And then he challenged you. Every tree in the garden you may eat, but the tree in the midst of garden, you may not eat that tree. For the day you eat of that tree, you shall surely die. And it was the tree of knowledge of good and of evil. It was a test. It was a test that what you would do with all of the knowledge on evil or all of the knowledge on good. What would you do with the knowledge of absolute total evil and how you can use it for your good against others? Or the knowledge of good, how you can use it for your good or for others? And never mix the two together. Adam and Eve reached and ate of the tree and evil was formed on the inside of them. And um, God showed up and said, I need to know where are you in this matter? Where are you on this? And uh, immediately they began to pass the buck. It's the woman, it's the serpent. The serpent was, it's the tree, it's you. Finger pointing and blaming. And here we are, gazillions of years later, still trying to figure out what went wrong. And the only thing that went wrong is that we had a choice to make. And after we ate of the fruit and discovered our emphatic, the person that we were, instead of owning it and being honest with it, we point the fingers at someone else. I decree and declare today is the beginning of the rest of your life starting now. I know I said a whole lot, but what I'm speaking is not coming out of my intellect, it's coming out of my spirit and it's to drop into your spirit. Today is the day that you no longer hold anyone else responsible for the security of your soul or your personality. You have that power. And I make you aware that God wants to give that power back to you. You have dominion. Begin to use it in the name of Jesus. I look forward to talking to you this month of Mondays and Fridays. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and I'm going to speak to you. I just want you to connect with your true inner self and realize that God says, I want you to protect yourself and I don't want your purity to be used against you. The scripture says to the pure, all things are pure. And that's when your purity is used against you because you go to an unpure person and because you're pure, you think they're pure and they're not pure. He wants you to open up your eyes of understanding and discernment and see with your real eyes what is around you, what you're getting into, and live. Wow. So I sort of kind of think that this message was actually better than the message that I preached. I really, 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 really love you guys. I really, really love you. I'm so glad that my people got me into this. It got me into it. I'm, 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 I'm glad. And when I get the responses from you, it really, really blesses me. So you you stay tuned and and we're gonna we're gonna do some great things together for God in 2018. This is your year of a fresh start. Can you see? I'm having one. God bless you. I'll talk to you Mondays and Fridays.